be sure to check out my Vivi and Omi investors group in the description down below. Together we build generational wealth and go over everything you need to be profitable in the Vivi markets. Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another VV and Ecomi video, man. And in this one, we're going to be addressing another interesting comment that I received on the channel and just talking about VV and Ecomi. Um, you all know, you all know how I do. Um, just a lot of, I get a lot of comments, a lot of concerns and stuff like that. And I just like to put it into a different perspective and basically just share with you all the way that I think. I don't know if my way of thinking... My, my way of thinking may not be right for everyone. I'll just put it like that. My way of thinking may not be right for everyone. It's just the way that I go about things because it's the way that I've seen success. So um, obviously that's why it's going to be my perspective. But I got a comment recently that I wanted to address. Um, basically the comment was along the lines of, okay, you have a 10 year price prediction, but not everyone has a 10 year price prediction. Some of us have a five year price prediction. Some of us even a three year price prediction or, or, um, or oh, no, he said some of us have a five-year price prediction and three of those years are already gone, which I'm not sure how the app just came out like a little over a year ago. But anyway, that being said, when it, that then we have to, then it, it becomes a conversation about your number at that point. Like what, what, what information made you feel like a five-year price prediction was going to be the most accurate because I think it, it's, it's taken much longer than five years for them to even make what GTA Six. How long has G Grand Theft Auto been out? Like the video game, and that's that's a metaverse, but like that that's the closest thing that we have to a metaverse. But that's not even as complex as, as a metaverse. They don't have to sync that with crypto. They don't have to have exchanges and things like that. Like like GTA. That's just like strictly from a gaming standpoint, where it's just a, a great game and experience. And a metaverse is even bigger than GTA, so I, I'm I'm wondering, I'm wondering what makes you feel as though if GTA takes this amount of time, and that's the closest thing that we have seen to a genuine metaverse, why would you expect, um, why would you expect something different in a shorter time frame from VV? Like why why? And I know a lot of people are, are talking about exchanges and, and and that side of things, the Omi token side of things. But the fact of the matter is the Omi token ha is meant for utility. It's meant to fuel the VV app, which means the VV side of things should be completed or, or has to get things done in order for the token to be useful at all. Yeah, you throw it on exchanges, you you put it places, but that does not change the bearish sentiment that's going to come from VV not having things to deliver. Because let's say we were on every exchange in the world. Okay, cool. We're on these exchanges. You can access the token. You, the, you can buy the token now. But then Vivi's not delivering. Why would anyone want to buy the token? We have a massive supply and no way of burning it. We don't even have the Omi token linked to the Vivi app. Like if 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 the Omi token was on a ton of exchanges and Vivi was still in the state that it's in right now, it would still not really be a, a crazy good looking investment, to be honest. I think more people have to understand the 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 attraction to Vivi. Like what's going to bring the people here? Because at the end of the day, you also have to understand that drops are, are not going to be an option for, for long. It's like we are already outgrowing drop systems. Yeah, they're changing the drop system to make it more fair. But in reality, it's never going to be a way millions of people can get 30,000 additions. There is never going to be a way that that math adds up. It's just not. So that means what? why are people coming to Vivi? Why are people buying the OMI token? What are people using the OMI token for? Because a lot of stuff is out of reach. So you're going to have a ton of people who aren't buying this stuff that's out of reach because they just the, the average person just cannot afford this stuff. So what are people going to be coming on VV to do? Like, how are people going to be burning this massive token supply? Like, how what where do how do people expect that this was going to go? I, I guess is the, the real, the biggest concern here. I think that people didn't actually think this investment through and they came to conclusions like, oh, let, let's just like five years, five years should be enough. That's what certain crypto projects have done. Do you understand the magnitude of what this particular crypto project is, is attempting to do? This is a crypto project, NFT project, a, a, a business, a real world collectibles business, but also they're trying to be a metaverse business, which is, it's, it's its own industry. You you have NFT companies that, that survive by itself. You have crypto companies like you have just straight crypto focused companies and then you have like collectors like collectibles metaverses like this is this is different businesses all being mushed together to create something just that that's the plan is for it to be something that's just fantastic and very crucial to to the world but 
them like so I'm I'm trying to understand why people thought that this would be something that that was done quickly. Like any one of these things could take some time. It, like Bitcoin was just Bitcoin and look how long it took for it to start people starting to realize the value of it. Like but like the thing is the Omi token really does have an advantage but that own that that entire advantage is strictly from the VV side. The VV side is why the Omi token is is going to be relevant, is going to get to where it's going. Um now the concerns, I'm hearing the concerns in the community like okay, is the Omi token actually needed? From my understanding personally, when when we talk about the conversation of if, if is the Omi token actually needed, from my understanding, the app cannot function without the Omi token. It's so ingrained into 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 the project it, it literally cannot one can't exist without the other from my understanding um could be wrong maybe it's a question that we need to ask the team maybe that would that would calm some nerves and stuff like that but from my understanding that's basically what i've gotten from the team multiple times i've heard them speak about you know similar concerns so i just feel like sometimes people set unrealistic expectations and when the company doesn't live up to it um they they kind of get upset. They get bearish when in reality, it was never realistic what you were hoping for from the start. Like what you were hoping for from the start was that a company was going to come, like just creating the metaverse side of things. Look at how much money, look at how much money um Facebook is putting behind that. And there's they aren't crazy far along and they're putting billions and billions of dollars um on the line for it. So taking that into consideration, the, the relationships that Ecomi is able to build is going to be very, very critical in getting that metaverse to where it's got to go. But obviously, you see they have partners like Disney. Like, my speculation is that, like, they're going to be super tied in with Disney. People think that they're just going to rid their hands of the project and sell it, but it doesn't make sense. And, and any business owner would know that that's not the case. Like, I, truthfully, it's something like, if you're not a business owner, I understand why you wouldn't get it. But when you build a business, especially a business based off of your passion, that becomes like your child. You're not just like, and, and what people fail to realize is these guys are all rich already. Like they're rich already. So, so, and, and yeah, I mean, I know when you're poor, you think, okay, all rich people are greedy. So, okay, they just want more money, but you have to realize what's being done here for Alfred Kahn, who's already a billionaire. Then you have David Yu, who's definitely a multimillionaire. Um, he has hella properties. He has like three warehouses full of collectibles with multiple different floors. Like th this man has crazy assets. And then the collectibles within these places, he has a bunch of homes. Um, it was a little incident that happened a while ago where um, his homes like was involved in, 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 in some type of case. So literally he has multiple properties worth millions. Um, so yeah, like these guys are already very, very successful. So, and then what, what they have basically done, David, you started at 17 securing the Pokemon license. Started at 17 securing the Pokemon license. So if he had the Pokemon license when he was 17 and he was building a collectibles business and 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 that was what he was making his life about. And then you look at the other businesses he's involved in. His life has been spent around around collecting. His, this has been his life. He's been collecting stuff. He has warehouses. Look at look at look at when he has interviews. Look at what's in his main house. This is his passion. This is what he loves. So. You don't just, like, he's putting everything, like, all his connections from his years of collecting, all his connections, his business collect connections and stuff like that, he's putting all of that into VB. You don't do that to just sell the company and, and just, it, it's just, just get rid of it. This is a passion project. This is, this is, this is what he wants to be his life's work. So he's not just going to come in for a quick ca cash grab. Like, like, people's logic, it makes no sense. And you know, it, it like these narratives and these these perspectives come from people who haven't really had that much success in certain areas. And it's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's, it's cool that you want to question everything. You should be weary of things. You should ask questions. But the thing is, the community, one thing this community needs to work on is actually asking questions, not coming in with cons with assumptions already and, and just assuming the worst. Because you, you're, you're, if you're not asking, if you're not really asking a question, you're making more of a statement that you already feel to be true. Then you're, you're gonna like, you're going to want to dispute no an the, an the answer, no matter what it is. You're not, you're not going to be easy to accept the truth. The truth is, this man has spent his life, everything that he has accumulated in his life. These guys are putting that back into VV. That every connection they have, every, every. Every, yeah, every connection they have, everything that they have built, all their experience, 
their, their, their skills with licensing. All of this together has been put into creating the ultimate platform. And then on top of that, they're trying to do stuff that they have probably never done in their career. Well, they definitely have never done in their career since um, it's never existed in the world. So working with NFTs and building the building metaverses and, and things like that, this is this has never before been done. Now, they are using their connections in the gaming industry. Like literally, they hired someone from from Riot, like 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 Trevor was was from Riot. And I, I'm like, it's still unclear. I'm pretty sure he doesn't work for Vivi anymore. But the fact of the matter is, it's, they had that connection to get him on board in the first place. And then they're going to continue, they're going to continue working with these same partners that they've been working with, as well as get other people. And honestly, it's just like, there, there's a, some deep speculation. I, like, let, let's talk about some deep speculation about why Trevor is no longer with VV. Let, let's talk about it. So why would Trevor, their lead, like, like the lead who has helped them get into this position, why would he no longer be there? Um, I doubt it's a situation where Trevor would want to leave, but maybe it's a situation where somebody like Disney has come in, they already have someone in Trevor's role, so why would they need Trevor? And it's like, oh, our guy's more qualified, he's, he's, a, he's a better pick, because Trevor was like, like, he's a cool guy, but he was at the bottom of the totem pole when it comes down to working at Riot, it's not like he was a top dog. So obviously a company looking to acquire or, or partner with, with VV, which a lot of people are gonna say, oh, the, the, they wouldn't have to partner with VV. They're like, it's cool if you want to say that, but these connections, what VV has been able to do, not to say Disney could never do anything like it, but it takes, it takes a lot to do what this company has been able to accomplish. So they're not just they're not just giving up everything to, to Disney. I don't care how success. I don't care that it's Disney. Um, so yeah, that being said, the why why is Trevor no longer there? And who's taking up the task that was once Trevor's? Because they have they rehired for that position. Like who, like why why is he no longer there? So when you really consider that, it's like it could be a situation where they've been bought out, or, or they're going to be like they're going to be partnering or integrating with Disney of some sorts, and now. They somebody else more qualified that, that that the company they're working with feels is more qualified is actually taking over is is taking over that side of things. So, I mean, there's just a lot of stuff that we don't know. There's a lot of information we don't have. All we can really do is go based off the information we do have. Um, investors like to like to see things in, in 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 plain black and white on paper and 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 know for a fact of everything going on and everything that's happening. Sometimes you just have to know what you know. You have to be able to do the research, know who you invested in, and, and you know that they're going to be making the best decisions possible for your investment because you're not going to understand everything because if they let you understand everything, every single competitor in the world that can stop you from making the money that you can make with this project, they're going to know as well. So would you rather actually get rich or would you rather them reveal their whole hand to their audience, which included in that audience is going to be all of their competition? It's just it, it doesn't it doesn't make sense what some in, investors actually want from this company because it's it's just it's ridiculous to even ask for certain things. But yeah, man, um, I just wanted to to share my perspective there. Definitely wanted to share my perspective there. Nothing like the the whole point of this is nothing that I saw made me think that this was going to be an easy road. That's why I put a ten year prediction on mine. Like I put a ten year and, and early on when I first started saying ten years. I first started in the area where I was talking about 10 years, and then I was saying stuff like 10 to 15 at that point in time. Then after I talked to my homie Pax and he was telling me, oh, because I had a projection that real estate would not start taking this 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 stuff, metaverse and stuff like that serious for five years. Then I talked to Pax last year and he was telling me, no, we already are using this stuff in the real estate industry. I'm like, wow, we're that far ahead. We're five years ahead of where I thought we were going to be. So that's what, what made me, okay, 10 years, 10, I think 10 years is definitely more solid now then. Um, so like what, what, like what is the logic behind people's entry and how long people are planning to hold? I, I wanna know what, what signs told you that something was gonna take three or five years when, when all of this stuff is stuff that has never existed in, hum, in human history and even stuff that, that has existed before takes longer than that. So. Um, it's just like this this video is mainly about people's number why do you have that number like what where did you research enough 
Um, it's, it's mainly the biggest question. Did you research enough? What research did you have? And why would you think that something like this was going to be something quick? Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, turn on notifications so you stay updated. And yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, Joe.